Hey you guys, it's me Ingrid. I wanted to say hi. Um, a lot of you have been asking me what's going on and what are you going to do with your career and what's your plan and are you going to be homeless and are you going to be okay and all that stuff. And I've been working really, really hard um, on my project and I want to talk to you guys about it. It's called Talent Savant. I'm going to start a talent company and it's going to change the way that we hire. It's going to take all the confusion out of hiring and the recruitment process for the candidate, the hiring manager, and the recruiter. And it's going to change the relationships between all the parties within the recruitment process. So everyone has buy-in, there's full transparency, and it's a process that is enjoyable and positive versus a process that is adversarial, scary, mysterious, and frustrating. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what the recruiting landscape looks like right now and some of the frustrations in the industry and then tell you what we have going on at Talent Savant and how we're gonna change it and improve all of those frustrations and completely change the industry. So the current talent acquisition model goes like this. There's a job opening at a company and for whatever reason, the people at the company cannot find the right employee for that job. So either they're really busy screening inbound resumes or the employee that they're looking for is not on the job market, they're actually employed somewhere else, which is kind of the state of most of the job openings here in Seattle, it's a pretty tight market. Or they just don't have the capacity and the know-how to go out and find that candidate on their own. So they are contacted by external recruiting agencies all day. And these recruiting agencies have this kind of old school used car salesman approach where they ask their um, recruiters to make you know, 30 outbound business phone calls a day. Uh, nobody likes getting sales calls and especially not hiring managers, it interrupts their day. The recruiters hate doing it. It's just this old school kind of cold calling until you get a maybe because the hiring managers hit a real pain point with the job. And this is where the process starts to fail everyone involved. So the recruiting agency sends an agreement to the hiring manager, a fee agreement, and industry standard today, and has been for a long time, is 20% fee for the first year's salary of whatever employee is hired. That's a lot of money. That is you know, $130,000 for a mid-level software engineer. It's $18,000 for a $90,000 a year marketing manager. It's a huge chunk of change. Um, and the companies hiring are already competing with the really big guys. You know, they're trying to pay those salaries uh, that employees are making at Facebook and Amazon and Google, and they're already overwhelmed and unable to afford to pay those competitive salaries. So slapping on a huge recruiter fee is kind of a massive, scary thing to pay for for a small to medium-sized business. However, since they've had such a hard time hiring, they'll go ahead and engage the agency because the agency's main selling point is that, look, you don't pay us anything until you hire one of our candidates. So we're gonna work for free for you, find these candidates for your job, and only if and when you realize that you love the candidate and you can't live without the candidate, are you gonna pay us this huge fee? So the recruiter then starts to go out into the market and find candidates. That's when you become involved as the candidate. A recruiter will contact you and say, we have an open job at blank company, a company that maybe you really like, you've always wanted to work for, but you haven't been on the job market for a while because you're just doing your job. And you get really excited and you send your resume to the recruiter and they're super excited, you're super excited, you want the job, it's a great job. You go through the phone screen, you nail it. You go through the in-person interview, you nail it. And then, nothing. The recruiter ghosts you, you have no idea what's going on, you don't get the job, nobody will tell you why. It's a disaster, it's super frustrating and horrible. And this is because the hiring manager wants to hire you. They like you. You are the best candidate for the job. But when it comes down to brass tacks, they cannot afford the crazy recruiter fee that it would cost them to bring you on. So not only are they losing out on a great candidate, you're losing out on your dream job. And to make things worse, 
they then can't hire you ever because they're going to be afraid that the recruiting agency will come after them and sue them for that fee that they couldn't afford because you were presented to them by this recruiting agency. It sucks. And also for the recruiting person, just the average employee who's a recruiter, you're not getting paid unless someone gets placed. So you're doing weeks worth of work and literally getting nothing um, except for maybe your pittance of a base salary. So it's just overall extremely frustrating for everybody involved. I've obviously been thinking about this for a while and watching it go down and seeing candidates lose out on jobs they really love, seeing hiring managers not able to hire people that they really, really like, and seeing recruiters get unpaid for a lot of work. And I hate it and I'm done with it. So I'm asking you guys to help me fix it. I'm starting a company called Talent Savant. Talent Savant is going to charge a 10% flat fee for any hire from a janitor to a CEO. And we're gonna ask everyone to have a buy-in. So if a hiring manager contacts us and they need these roles filled, we're going to set up a 48 hour qualification period. And that means a recruiting expert is going to take the roles, go out to the market, and within two days, we're gonna get back to the hiring manager and tell them, yes, we can fill the role, or no, we can't fill the role because of these constraints, which might be you're not paying enough, there's not enough candidates in your geography, you need to change the job description a little bit, whatever it might be. Once the role's qualified, we're gonna ask the hiring manager to give us $1,000. And the $1,000 is going to be a promise from the hiring manager that they're serious about hiring. And so the people that work for me, the recruiters, are going to go to the market and within five business days, they're gonna provide three enthusiastic, qualified candidates based on the hiring manager's specifications. These candidates are going to know about the job, know the company, want the job, be excited to interview, and be qualified, and just all around be awesome. And then if the hiring manager moves forward and ends up hiring one of them, they're gonna pay us the rest of the 10%, which is again, half the industry standard, minus the $1,000 payment. And if they don't move forward, if they some, for some reason change their mind about hiring or change their mind about the role, or you know just don't really think that the need is that great anymore, then we're gonna keep the $1,000 and we're gonna pay the recruiter that did that work. We're also going to tell the candidate and we're going to get them another job and it will be fair to everybody. So I'm asking for your help. This is going to change an industry that's terrible and I think we can do it, you guys. So let me know how you feel about it. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. Anything about the recruiting process that confuses you, I will tell you straight up because that's who I am and I'm super excited. Thank you in advance for your support. You guys are seriously the most amazing people ever. Um, and I love and adore you. So thanks for watching. Uh, I can't wait to tell you more and keep you in the loop as this business evolves.